Did they have it? They have it. I think it's time for you to make a confession. I think it's about time. I've kept it secret for too long. Yeah. I'm tired of hiding myself. Let's do it. I'm obsessed with bean and cheese burritos from gas stations. <laughs> Only from gas stations, right? Only from gas stations. Okay. Um, because they're tastier. Yeah. They're magic, and I don't know why. So, anyways. Well, yeah. let's have a look at this one. Okay. Looks pretty good. It's crispy and fresh. And uh, we'll see about So what, what would you consider a good? Like, what's the... It, it, it has to be what? It has to be crispy and not just big, hard crispy, but like flaky crispy. Okay. And it has to be somewhat of a moist type of burrito. It okay. can't be like too dry. Okay. Well, let's do it. Let's see this. Let's test. You ready? <laughs> Okay. All right. This is so good. <laughs> this is it, huh? <laughs> this is the Skinny's Texaco in St. Helens, Oregon. What do you give it out of? What do you rate it out of five or ten? What do you think? What's this, what should the system be? I don't know yet. I haven't figured out a system, but I will say it's in the higher number, okay. so it's probably up in the. Let's start with well, one through ten. We'll have a ten okay. rating system. What'd you give this? We'll do a two thing. So, one for what? Crispiness? One for crispiness and one for freshness. Okay, so what would the crispiness be? I'm going to say it's probably a good nine. Whoa. That's really high. Cause okay. I, yeah. And even the freshness is probably, I would say an eight. Okay, so Very overall high this there. is an eight and a half? This is really good. This is okay. one of the best I've had in a while. There you go, everybody. Skinny's in St. Helens. I'm telling you. Bean and cheese burritos. So good. A little hot food. Still loving that thing? So good. Sue's regrets of not buying two. Two bean and cheese burritos. Yeah, that's like a meal. I think you'd have a stomach. Look how tiny they are though. Yeah, but it's a lot of I think you underestimate my stomach. Maybe. See our awesome Vanagon Village. Asher, oh, please. Insert. This just pops out. Yeah. They, really nice. They, they have it so you put a, you know, plants or whatever in there. So we kind of just spun it around the other way so it's not level anymore. But so it's great for us to keep our business cards in, our stickers, a little coffee or something. Because our cup holders aren't great for tiny things. And Perfect. we are loving it. If you get a chance, Keep please her. check them out. We'll put a link in the video. Check out their stuff. We are at the Westport Ferry, which takes us from we? here, <laughs> which is just like, I don't know, 10 miles or what so north town? of Klatskanine. I don't know if it's a town. And it takes us across the river up to Kathlamet. I think it's one of the only ferries that crosses the Columbia into Washington around. So it's it's like 10 minutes long. It's pretty fun though. We did this years ago with the, when the girls were younger on a trip. It was kind of fun. So. We're going to cross with the ferry, get out in Kathlamet, maybe find a spot to make some lunch. And Kathlamet's kind of a cool little town as well. Did you drive right off the end? Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to look like it's our yeah. end. So, oh my god, it looks like we're going over it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
this is what we do a lot of times right here. We just off the ferry, we're just really have nowhere to go. We're just driving down this side road, yeah. looking for cool stuff, cool views. Maybe a place to pull off and have some lunch with the view. Yeah. This is part of the fun for us, is just exploring, nowhere to go, driving around at 35 miles an hour. It'd be cool if it came like a little town or something to wander around to. Well, we can go back up across the bridge and go to Cathlamet. That's the only town around here, I think. There's even a picnic bench. Perfect, we can park right there. Oh, this is a perfect view. No cleaning fish. Well, dang it. Good thing we don't have fish. So we're making lunch. Nancy's gonna have some tamales. Tamale. Cooking up real quick. Oh, tamale. Tamale. Too much. I'm going to have some of this, which looks like cat food. <laughs> but it's actually garbanzo <laughs> beans it, smashed up with mayo and mustard and some pickles to be like a faux tuna. It actually looks like cat barf, <laughs> not cat food. What do you think? Cat barf. Looks delicious. Or cat poo. <laughs> this looks better. It does. So, uh, cooking on the road, you need to get a little creative. So I have a top to a mason jar, <laughs> some water, and then I'm gonna put the bowl in there, and then I'm gonna put my tamale in there, and then I'm gonna put my lid on, and now I'm gonna steam my lunch. right here is really what we I think enjoy so much about just how we travel we just kind of wander around and I mean I've lived in what within 50 miles of this my entire life and I've never been right here I mean, it's beautiful it's crazy. It's really pretty. We took the ferry across and stopped at a little dock to eat some lunch and let me stay a while here and take a nap it's so beautiful here it's just yeah super warm you can like, hear the water kind of lap it up against the dock and birds yeah you just don't get this kind of stuff when you like have a destination in mind and you've got your windows rolled up and no. the air conditioning on you're just trying to get there like this is what we like to do this is well, it's not always about the location that you're going it's the journey yeah. which I like to take a long time to get to where we want to go so we can explore places like this this is what it's all about right here Good day today, it's a good day today, it's a good day today. 
campsite with the view sitting here I would say it's not our ideal because of it's a clear cut the clear cut and the giant brush pile but the nice thing about clear cuts or at least like this is the view yeah. like if you're in the woods back there it's beautiful and tranquil but there's generally no view out here we're gonna have a gorgeous sunset and, and look at it's that. warmer and we just have ignore the giant <laughs> pile of brush yeah don't look at that um and we beautiful. have the service in case our kids want to get a hold of us and we tried out the new shilling excelsior imperial mango, mango which is 9.1 percent this is usually my favorite the regular imperial but this i i don't know this one's pretty damn good i like this one too it's a little sweet That's it's a little good. sweet for him i'm okay with the sweetness but it may You're have as to... sweet as i can handle babe oh <laughs> That's not corny. Um, <laughs> but I may have to stock up on this guy because I believe this might be a seasonal thing. So it's good stuff though. He's up in the tent. Kinda. So there's a spider in our van. Right there. Oh my god, what is that? I don't know. Let's see if I can get it with my phone. I don't care if that thing's tiny, I want it out. That is creepy and kind of cool. He's been saving us. Whoa. He's down. Oh no, did he? No, he's not. He's just, come on, buddy. Looks like a crab almost. Ew, he's gonna go in your hand. Oh, I dropped him. <gasps> not in my hand. Is he in the van? I don't think so. I think he hit the ground somewhere. He's probably in for a shock where the hell he is. <laughs> I wonder how house? long he's been up in the... Probably since you went camping. Oh my god, last weekend. Right? That's the only time the top was open. Oh gosh. I don't think he came Well, he's here. still in his own state, so... Well, unless he, he came from Mount Hood. Yeah. He's okay. gone. <sighs> okay. What's for dinner tonight, my love? We're having egg drop ramen, pretty much. So we have ramen and vegetables, some from the garden, some not, and some eggs, all cooked in it's vegetable brown broth. rice ramen, right? Yeah, um, I forgot the name of it. You can get it at Costco. It's yeah. really good. We thought the sky was so pretty over here, but wait. Bam! That sunset. Look at that! Gorgeous! Amazing. Cold, babe? Yes. What's the time for? Propane fire. Propane fire. We haven't used this in a long time. I know, I'm pretty excited I about it. I think the last time we used this was on the trip to Leavenworth. Oh, yeah. I think this last time we used it. Yeah. All right, we got to get a propane tank from our little propane tank holder back here. Ah! It's going to crap out of me. It's going. You okay now? I'm warmer. That scared the crap out of me. Oh, it's so nice. Well, we got some rain overnight. It's really beautiful though. Woke up this morning, all this fog and this rain kind of woke us up last night with a little pitter patter on the roof. Um, but it was kind of a nice distraction. So we have nothing really to do this morning. We're gonna kind of hang out in the van a little bit, make some breakfast, just kind of watch the rain come in and out. I think it's supposed to stop a little bit later this afternoon. So we'll just enjoy it while it's here.
very easy to lose your hero when he is just a punch. Ready to get out of here? Yeah. Let's go get on the road and explore all the way back home. Just check out some back roads and yeah. see what we find? Yeah. I think we might as well do it. We have plenty of time to get home. Yeah. Let's do it. What's that? So this is part of the process of exploring. Oh yeah, we turn around a lot. Yeah. Oh, there's a little trail right there. I think it's a game trail. Yeah. Game trail. That's pretty cool. This is why we're glad that Westy's little and has a great turning radius. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun to turn around a giant sprinter there or something? No. All right. Back on the trail. Well, we kind of ran out of roads to explore back there couple yeah. of uh, dead ends and now we're back in the residential kind of area so we're gonna head back to the house now get some stuff to do so I just want to thank you guys for checking out this episode and thanks for coming along on the adventure with us yeah we'll see you next time bye guys what do you got there they had a pinchy brew and then another some one candy cigarettes for the girls what a good mom. I'm such serious. a good mom. So another bean and cheese burrito. Yeah. Nice. Really Seriously. hot. Okay. A little different than the last one we had, so I don't know. Alright. No, it doesn't sound good so far. First of all, it's lava. Second of all, I can't even bite through it yet. So oh. this is going to be bad so far. On crispiness, and say it's probably a two, mm, two out of ten. Whoa! Yeah. Freshness? Probably a two out of ten. <laughs> oh. We're at a gas station just, I think, around Cathlamet, Washington. Yeah, at a Chevron. Mm. Okay. And it's not good.